Hey Pete here, let me ask you a question. Would you prefer the five pound weather forecast or the 50 pound weather forecast? See, it's interesting, I've been out, I'm just out here, and I've just seen one of those A380 Airbuses go overhead, and it just reminded me about this weather forecast thing, especially for, uh, for aeroplanes. If you're watching this video, you might be a business owner, you might be a self-employed person, or you just might be working for yourself. And if you're like me, you sometimes wonder, should I be trying to get a discount when I go in and buy a product, or should I be getting a discount when I go in and try and bid for a service even? So stick around, because I'm going to give you a big tip on why you should always try and uh, get a discount on server, oh, sorry, on product, but you should never, ever try and get a discount on service, because your very life just may depend on it. So before I go any further though, why on earth would you listen to me? Well, I've had about 19 years of trying to help business owners solve these types of dilemmas as to whether you get a discount on uh, product or a discount on service. So stick around so I can give you this big tip. Before I give you the big tip though, let me tell you a story. Okay, there was a pilot in a single engine aircraft and he was flying into Biggin Hill Aerodrome. And he called up air traffic control for uh, the latest weather report before he landed. Air traffic control said to him, do you want the five pound weather forecast or the 50 pound weather forecast? Hmm, said the uh, pilot, what's the difference? Well, said the uh, said air traffic control, if you get the five pound weather forecast, we're gonna tell you that at present, the uh, weather is lovely and fine and sunny at the aerodrome. However, if you choose the 50 pound weather forecast, I'm gonna tell you that the weather is fine and sunny at present, but within 10 minutes, we're expecting a whopping great thunderstorm to uh, uh, come to the aerodrome, and I sh I'm telling you now, you need to divert to another aerodrome, and I'm gonna help you get there. That's the service. So here's the big tip that comes out of that, uh, out of that story. Always negotiate the price of uh, hard goods, but never ever try and negotiate the price of service, because as you've seen there, your very life may depend on it. Now, the thing is, for example, you might be going to buy a car, all right, and it's a product. So you'll go into the car dealer, and you'll, uh, you'll try and uh, negotiate a discount quite fairly, because your life doesn't depend on it. And in fact, the only difference is, is what the uh, uh, little goodies uh, or services that the car dealer may give you. However, if you're going into a hospital and you're under a surgeon, or you're flying and you're with uh, asking air traffic controls for some advice, that service means your very life can depend on it between the surgeon or air traffic control. Buying a car, it doesn't. You could go to any dealer really, and uh, it doesn't matter. It just depends on how much money you can actually keep into your pocket because your life's not gonna depend on buying that car or not. You could actually go away and come back the next day or go to another dealer. So that's the big tip that I want to tell you about. Always negotiate on, uh, on product, but uh, never ever negotiate on service. Now, if you've liked this video, um, somewhere around here, you'll see my Facebook page, my LinkedIn page. I'd love you to like it and share it and follow me. Or if you want some further information, please feel free to try and get in, to get in contact with me. I'd love to hear from you.